What's going on, YouTubers? Welcome to another video unboxing and review. Today we bring you the Ryu Hayabusa Ninja Gaiden 214 scale statue. This is by One to One Collectibles. It's basically in collaboration with First Four Figures and Psycho Collectibles. They just named themselves One to One. I actually previously owned this statue back when my statue collection was upstairs in my two bedrooms, but then I sold it when I ran out of space. It actually is a very nice statue and I actually love the video game. I'm actually playing it right now, just be chapter seven. So even though it's an older game, Xbox 360, it still is actually incredibly fun. And the main we weapon he's using, the Death Scythe, you earn that from defeating the Lycan leader, the four-armed Lycan, Goro Lycan. And I love that weapon. It's actually my weapon of choice. And this is the same pose as the actual game art. So we're gonna go ahead and unbox this bad boy, see what we think. So up here, you got that death scythe with all the blood, different ninja swords that go into the base and his back uh, scarf. So these are just the weapons. And here is Ryu himself with his base. So let's go ahead and set him up. Alrighty, so here is the back of the base, as you can see, limited to 1999 Team Ninja Ryu Hayabusa One to One Collectibles. It is a heavy, solid base, feels very solid all together. So we're gonna go ahead and put Ryu now. So there he inserted via a long back peg and then a front thicker peg. So now we just gotta input all these bad boys to get it set up. First thing we insert is the scarf back here. Next, we're gonna go ahead and input this sword, which also goes right there. She goes under and you see, you wanna put the sword first, then the bandana. Next, we got two swords. So these each basically just go inside the base. You know, you fight tons of ninjas in this game. You actually do use a, both a single sword and a double sword. So you could view this as, I would say the double swords. This is basically incorporating all his different weapons. So they basically go in there like that. So basically incorporating every single weapon from the game, the original dragon sword, the dual swords, that weapon, I forget what it's called, and the death scythe. And then you got some ninja shurikens and then cindery shurikens all throughout. So we're gonna go ahead and set up the death scythe and it will be complete. Hey folks, so Ryu Hayabusa is all set up here. Went ahead and did some measurements. He's about 13, 14 inches wide, 25 inches tall to the top of that death scythe. Him himself about 18 inches. And then he's about 15 inches deep with that death scythe. So very cool statue. I'm glad the box is not too small or not too big. But check this out. So check out that death scythe. It's quite heavy, solid polystone. I love the blood effect, it looks pretty good. Definitely killed lots of enemies with this. It's an old weapon, obviously, so it has lots of weathering. Here's Ryu, he is definitely one of the coolest looking ninjas out there. Love all the different weapons and assortments on him. Let's check out that base. You know, it's just a rock brick type base with some blood and the two swords. Nothing too fancy. You know, definitely not as good as the base as my 1.6 Ryu, but you know, size does matter. That's only 1.6 scale, 13 inches, zero presence, where this has a much bigger presence and it incorporates more of his weapons. And my other Ryu, the 1.6 scale actually, which I'll do a side by side, he is using the other weapon I really like, the long stick, I forget what it's called. I do like that weapon, I use it quite a bit. So pretty cool overall looking statue, as you can see. So very heavy. You know, this is obviously older. That game is from a long time ago. But look, you know, it looks just like Ryu. His blue eyes, ninja face. Still has some styrofoam on him. <laughs> Got some texture work in that costume just in the right spots, just like the game. I do like how the, the pose choice as well as the armor choice or like the weapon choice here. He's holding the death scythe, which is the coolest weapon in the game, hands down. See there. 
Here's the incendiary shurikens. <sighs> That's the problem with that old styrofoam it gets everywhere. And the back part, his main dragon sword. So he just has the three incendiary shurikens on the left leg and on the right leg. Nothing, but, you know, clearly that's where he'd hold more. So overall, it's a cool-looking statue. I do like it. And, you know, it's extremely cheap, like $212 for a 1-4 scale. That's actually cheaper than what the 1-6 scale goes for. 1-6 goes for three thirty. So for a 1-4, for 200 bucks, absolutely worth it. Very, very cool. I'm going to set him up next to my Bruce Lee statue and see how that looks, or even in my main video game room. Alrighty, folks, so before we get to the like final resting place or whatnot in review, I want to show you him in the video game room. And I also want to show you some game footage, which I'll show you here momentarily. But I have space here for one additional video game statue. So all video games. I'm thinking Big Daddy Bouncer or Rosie from Gaming Heads underneath because I got 23 inches height and they're only 20 or 21 inches in height so I could definitely fit them. I'm also going to make that a Stuva so it's deeper so Ryu could fit better and the Big Daddy could. I do like it here quite a bit. The other spot is in the hallway next to Bruce Lee but I'm thinking right here because he looks awesome. You can see you know the perfect in scale with the other ones. I have them just like that with the video game, of course. I have them all displayed with their game, except for those two. I don't own the video games anymore. And I have like different versions, mobile versions. Let me know your thoughts if you like it in here, and then I'll show you next to Bruce Lee here momentarily. All right, everybody, before I do get to uh, the final uh, comparison or review of this statue, I just want to show you some of the components of the video game. So this was that main weapon I was telling you about, the Eclipse Scythe. This is an upgraded version, that's why it looks slightly a little different. Here it's his Dragon's Claw and Tiger Fang, so the dual swords on the base. He does not have this weapon. Here's the Falcon Talon, which was on his right arm, and then the main Dragon Sword, which is in the back. So we're just gonna play a little bit. I just wanna show you how epic this weapon, the Eclipse Scythe is. It's so freaking cool. So here it is, you know, here I am, Ryu Huyabusa. As you can see, looks just like the statue. He actually only has the incendiary shurikens right there on that one leg. So, you know, this game is just so freaking fun and cool. It really is. Got some arrows. We're gonna face some enemies any second. Now you can charge it if you want. Like that, look, I just killed that enemy instantly. They just blew up. Such a cool video game. So if you have not played this, absolutely. I'll show you me fighting some of these enemies real quickly. Got rocket launchers on me. I mean, you can do tons of different combos with this weapon. It's just so cool. I got these big bad boys. These guys are super hard. Anyways, I died. <laughs> But here's the video game. It's super fun. It's actually quite difficult. Those guys are super tough. But it really is fun. If you haven't played it, I absolutely recommend it, even if it's on a older console. So here is Ryu Hayabusa, all set up. He's actually next to Bruce Lee, uh, you know, because Bruce Lee never really had a companion piece. And so what better way than to do a ninja? Plus above, I have the 1-6 versions. Well, Ip Man, Bruce Lee's master. And then here's my other Ryu Hayabusa statue. It's more dynamic. And he's holding this giant staff. That staff is super fun in the game. Going on his, he has a bunch of arms and shurikens and very cool dynamic piece. Love it. Uh, the only annoying thing with this is his 
freaking scarf constantly falls out if you try to move it. It's not done very well, the pegs and whatnot. He does have a light up function. And then here we got the 1 4 scale version, you know, holding that Death Scythe. Super cool weapon. Love it in the game. And then, you know, all the different weapons. You know, as you can see right here on the actual cover of the game, it's basically the exact same. So they chose a great pose overall. Even the swords on the base are a nice touch. You know, so very cool statue, quite big. You know, you have to really allow at least 24 and a half inches of space in your shelf. And then he has to be at the tip of the Besta, otherwise that Death Scythe will hit the back wall. So it'd probably be better to have him in a Stuva, but I don't have a Stuva here. So he just goes right there, but I got some Earthquake Putty already on him. So he ain't going anywhere. He does look great next to Bruce Lee. Uh, just like how I have that, you know, Ip Man 1 6 scale versions and then the 1 4 scale versions. So, I mean, overall, this statue is quite cool. It's an older piece. So, of course, you know, for the most part, older pieces are not as good as today's pieces, but it's much cheaper as well. You know, the skin tone and arm detail could definitely be better. Costume looks great. I would just say the skin tone's the one biggest lag. And if they did real metal instead of polystone for these things, that'd be great. Maybe add uh, some severed enemies right here, like a head and an arm. That would be cool. Uh, more ninja-themed underbase instead of just black. I mean, overall, I'd probably rate this a 6 out of 10 statue. But the fact I got it for $212 shipped is a steal. You know, so you get what you pay for, you know, so... I'm happy I got it. I love the video game. I'm going to go die a few more times. It's actually quite a difficult video game if you haven't played it. You die super easy to those enemies with the rocket launchers. But yeah, this is a pretty cool statue. Uh, definitely, if you're a fan of the video game and ninjas, it's, you know, there's not a ton of 1-4 scale ninjas out there. And most ninjas are no names, so this is one from a very famous good video game. Hopefully we can get some future ones on like PlayStation 5. That's a nice looking statue. Looks great next to Bruce Lee, I think. Now Bruce Lee always felt too alone in there and now this looks pretty good. That's it though, folks. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I could absolutely put this Ryu as well in my video game statue room. I sort of have a... And some extra space in here, let me show you. I'm still waiting for Ikea to, so I can pick up a freaking Besta right here. Actually, a Stuva, then put the Stuva there, but I got this empty spot here. I really didn't like Kratos on Throne there, so I actually threw Kratos in my video game room, just on top of the cabinet there. So I actually have a, two empty spots. I mean, I can put Ryu there, although Ryu feels slightly too, like, it needs like two pieces. And I was also thinking of potentially getting the Bioshock statue uh, from Gaming Heads. But, I don't know. I kind of won at just all 1-4 scales. So I moved the Motaro and Kratos on Throne. I already got a Kratos there. So I was thinking Big Daddy Gaming Heads and maybe that Ryu Hayabusa. You know, that would look cool as well. You know, Ryu would just go there, Big Daddy there. Of course, it'd be a Stuva as well. So I'm just, you know, trying to think, you know, I love video game statues. I'm such a big gamer. You know, I've been gaming all my life, really. So definitely want another video game statue there. So I'm thinking Bioshock and Ryu, and then Bruce Lee could go back to being a loner. Or who knows what the future holds, but that is it. Let me know your thoughts. Do you think Ryu should go right there and then, you know, the bouncer right there? Or even Rosie? I'm thinking bouncer, though. Or should Ryu just stay out in the hallway, you know, with his 1-6 scale above him? So, you know, I definitely got some decisions to make whether I want him out there or in here. So let me know. I'll see you guys uh, next time. Still got some multiple Dragon Ball Z on the way. Three Dragon Ball Z statues on the way. Looks like Iron Studios Thor should be shipping in June. And some one tenth scales. Captain Marvel looks like... She'll be ready in a few weeks to a month or so, so I'll probably get her, you know, either late June or July. So really excited for Captain Marvel bust. I'm actually trying to debate as well if I should get Berserker Predator 1-4 from Infinity Studios or Queen Iron Man 
even though I wasn't 100% happy with the Queen Thanos, I think the Iron Man, you know, it's a lot harder to mess up on him based off what I've seen in production of Prototype. So I'm thinking Queen Iron Man as well. I'm, I only have money for one and, you know, space for one, really. So let me know on that as well. Do you think I should pick up the Queen Studios Iron Man bust or Berserker Predator from Infinity Studios? That's a tough one. They're almost about the same price. Berserker might be a little bit more. All right, folks. Till next time. See you.